Good morning, Oklahoma, and welcome to Cow Calf Corner. I'm Mark Johnson, and this week's topic is to take a look at the value of reproductive efficiency in the form of percent calf crop wean versus additional pounds of weaning weight relative to their economic importance to a commercial cow-calf operation. Now we know both of these things are economically important, but the debate we're gonna frame, taking a look at current market conditions, is what has more economic value to us? Is it an additional 5% of reproductive efficiency in the form of percent calf crop weaned, or an additional 50 pounds of weaning weight on a per head basis of calves? We'll take for example, two theoretical 200 head cow calf operations. In both, we've got 1300 pound average mature size of the cows. In one of those operations, we're weaning calves that weigh about 525 pounds, but we've got a 90% reproductive efficiency, which results in 180 calves weaned, 90 of which are steers, 90 of which are heifers. In the other operation, 200 head of cows weighing 1,300 pounds with an 85% reproductive efficiency, but those calves are weighing 575. As we take a look at the most recent USDA market report, we see that 525 pound calves last week were worth about $294 a hundred weight, about $1,544 a head. 525 pound heifer calves were worth about $243 a hundred weight, or about $1,276 per head. So when we factor in 90 head of steers, 90 head of heifers, 180 head of calves total. We've got a gross revenue of $253,800 with a 90% calf crop weaned. Now the other herd with an 85% calf crop weaned, 575 pound steers last week in Oklahoma were worth 273 a pound for a value per head of about $1,570. 570 pound heifer calves at about 235 a pound at a value of about 1351 per head. Collectively, 85 of each. We've got a gross revenue of $248,285. So, what's the advantage? Where does it go? The herd with an extra 5% of reproductive efficiency and weaning five more calves for every 100 cows we expose to a bull generates a little over $5,500 of extra revenue as opposed to the herd with the higher weaning weight but weaning a smaller percentage of calves per exposed female. How does this result? Well, some of it is a matter of price structure. The lighter weight calves are worth a little more per pound, but it speaks volumes about the importance of getting more of our cows to actually get bred, raise a calf to weaning every year relative to those input costs that we've got. Typically, this holds true in about any market. Again, we're taking a look at the most recent market report we've got, but year in, year out, 5% of reproductive efficiency tends to be worth more than an extra 50 pounds a head in those weaned calves. I hope this helps, and as always, thanks for joining us on Cow Calf Corner.